Welcome to Telemetry Overlay, the video, GPS, and sensors app compatible with GoPro cameras, DJI drones, Insta360 cameras, Garmin devices, smartphones, and GPS trackers. Today we'll see the easy way to add gauges to your videos. So let's launch the app, and let's grab a video file, in this case from a GoPro camera. The first thing the software will do is optimize the footage. You could skip this step, but waiting improves performance and compatibility. So let's fast forward this and let the program look for telemetry data in the video file. This will work if you enabled capturing GPS or sensor data in your camera, which is done differently for every brand. If your video does not contain the data, we will see how to add it later. OK, the app has created some gauges automatically for us. These are GPS path, distance, bearing direction, accelerometer, speedometer and altitude. You can disable this automated gauge selection in the settings menu. If you're happy with this, you can go ahead and go to the export section to finish your project. And by default, you'll get a video file that you can already share on most platforms. But let's go back to the gauges section and try to tweak things a bit, which is the nice part of the program. When you click on a gauge, you'll get lots of options on the right hand side of the section. For example, we could delete the altitude gauge because it's not that relevant in this video or we could drag things around to compose our dashboard. You can change the colors of every element. For example, let's make the accelerometer gauge blue, sort of similar to the pilot's clothes. And now let's tweak the speedometer. We can make it bigger, for example, and then change the units. We could choose uh, metric kilometers per hour or not if we were sailing. And now let's give the gauge a different look, like so. Reduce the number of ticks to make it look cleaner. And position it at an angle so that it fits in the corner. I'm not getting into details of every setting because this is just an overview. But what you should do is experiment with them and see what works best for you. And as you can see, the color of the gauge changes with speed. Two colors that again you can define. And now let's play around with the GPS path gauge, which has some special options. We can remove the coordinates to clean it up and then go to the shape tab and pick a map background. For example, a standard map, a satellite image, or a dark map so the path stands out more. We can also see how to quickly add new gauges. Go to add gauge, then select the type, for example, advanced, and click on it. This is the speed over time graph. And we can increase the smoothing value so important features stand out more. We can also add elements, which are not gauges but visual items that provide context. For example, a logo or a title. So we will add a title to credit the author of this video, Host Saiga, the pilot, who was kind enough to share it for this tutorial. And we can change the look, size and position of the title like with any other gauge. So we'll place it in the corner as a small watermark. Up on the top right corner of the app, you've got buttons for saving your project, loading an old one, or changing settings. And just to show you an overview of what other sections do, you could go to the Project tab to change the resolution and frame rate of the project, or the default colors, the shadows, and things like that. In the video section, you could replace your footage if you, for example, made some color corrections in a video editing program. And then in the telemetry section, you can import additional telemetry sources. So let's demonstrate this by importing a Garmin feed file. This will give us access to some more gauges, like a thermometer or a heart rate sensor. Let's rescale and reposition as usual. And we could also add a power sensor. And just to clarify, I'm using sample data. This is not from this race. OK, so these are some of the main features you can use. For more information, you can check out the written manual. More tutorials for advanced features, specific camera brands, and some experiments are in the works. Also, new gauges and features will be added to the app. So make sure to subscribe and stay up to date. I'll leave you with more sample shots that were used in this tutorial. Credits in the description. But what I'm really looking forward to is your videos with gauges. So feel free to share them, ask any questions you have. Thank you, and see you in the next one.